Okay, I just wanted to make a second video for this. Uh, just a minute. Focus. Okay. I just want to make a second video, you know, explaining the difference between a tri-path amplifier such as this to a full-size subwoofer amplifier. This is actually considered a subwoofer amplifier, as you can see. Wait a minute, it says subwoofer right here. Okay. You know, this is not a real subwoofer amplifier, but it's... I guess they marked it as one, but um, it's a basic tripath amplifier. But I wanted to show the difference between the two. This is a full size subwoofer amplifier, and this gives you basically you know all the controls that you need when you are hooking this up to a receiver to use with a subwoofer. And this is actually a subwoofer plate. As you can see, it uh, has a metal plate on the back where all the components are at in a box some of them come with a box and some of them don't but I like this that the electronics are actually sealed in a box so you don't, you don't have to worry about them interfering with their um, loudspeaker or with the filling that's in the loudspeaker box so this is designed to fit in the back of a subwoofer box you know cut out and it fits right in and screws in and I just want to show you the difference between them you know this is a full full feature subwoofer amplifier amplifier plate as you can see it has a gain control right here to adjust the gain or adjust the volume of your subwoofer the output of it and it has um line in inputs it has a, just the same as the uh, Fozzy amplifier it has a left and a right and the right is consent uh, mono and this one has left as a right as well and focus there you go left and right oh I'm sorry right here <laughs> that's the speaker terminals but this is the input it has a left and a right there we go so as you can see you know you have so much control over your subwoofer and how it sounds and how you can set it up and right here you have the auto on and off switch again this is um, great if you have a subwoofer and you don't you know like to just physically turn it on and off every time when you're finished using it you just set this on auto and it will cut on and cut off when there's a signal detected so basically if you're watching a movie and there's a low signal or low frequency detection this will automatically cut on so you don't have to do anything it will automatically cut on and when there's no signal to the subwoofer it will automatically cut off so this is you know great feature you can turn it on, you can turn it off, or you set it on auto. When you turn it on, it stays on, whether there's a signal or not. And cut it off, it cuts off. And auto, you leave it on auto, it will cut itself on and off when there's a signal detected. And and what's the biggest feature or the most important thing that this you know that this full size amplifier has that this one doesn't, it has a response. It has a frequency response. And this is very important, you know, when you're trying to blend your subwoofer in with your um, satellite speakers or main speakers. And as you can see, this goes from 40 cycles right here up to 180 cycles, 180. And what that means is that um, if you have a subwoofer that if you have a pair of main speakers that play, let's say, play down to 100 cycles or 100 Hertz and you want them to blend in with the subwoofer you know you would set this at 100 or maybe a little bit higher maybe at 110 or 120 and that means that the subwoofer will only play only play um frequencies frequencies uh, it's hard for me to pronounce but you know it only play those cycles at at 120 Hertz at 120 Hertz or lower so it would blend in better with the main speakers so if you have a pair of speakers maybe that go down maybe down to 80 you would set this at 80 or I like to set it a little higher at 100 so it will so the subwoofer will blend in better with their main speakers so that's the biggest you know factor when using a full-size amplifier you get that and you also get inputs so you could input your speakers into the amplifier if you don't have a 
a amplifier that doesn't have a subwoofer output you can use these terminals to connect but what I really want to talk about is um, you know so we for blending in with their speakers and this is what you need to have you need to have this response right here frequency response for it to blend in and I noticed this doesn't and this is you know really questionable for me because um, I don't know what is the response of this amplifier this may even be a full range amplifier and a full range goes from 20 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz so it says it's a subwoofer but I don't know how high this amplifier plays it may go up to 500 Hertz which is like you know it's not subwoofer level it's more like mint bass uh, I just don't know so um, you know that's why it's really important to have a, a amplifier that has this so it blends in better because this may play too high to be used as a subwoofer so I, I don't know what is the response of this um, amplifier how high it plays I don't know if it, it may go up to only 200 Hertz or it may go up to 300 Hertz you know I don't know so um, what this amplifier is really good for is those who are who do custom designs you know if you design your own loudspeakers or design your own subwoofers you know this would be ideal for that because basically when you design your own speakers or your own subwoofer you could cut the frequency off you could cut it off you can limit the woofer how high it plays so if you want to limit the woofer down to let's say 120 hertz you can actually build a crossover that will um that would do that so basically you know when you put a subwoofer crossover on the driver for the subwoofer you could actually use any type of amplifier you can even use a full range amplifier because it's going to block out the highs and the mids you know give you nothing but the lows or the sub lows so ideally you know this amplifier i think would be good for for someone like that someone who custom designs or build their own subwoofers because then you could block it you know you could block if this uh you know amplifier is like full range or if it's too high if the response is too high you can actually block it with a crossover you know build your own crossover and block the response where it goes only down to maybe or go only up to a hundred hertz it goes from a hundred hertz down to 20 hertz so this is what this is designed for because it does not have a frequency response right here that you can adjust like this one can this one you don't need to use no crossover with your um so it works because it's already built in so this acts as a crossover to your driver so this is what you really need when you are using this with a subwoofer driver and this doesn't have it so as you can see it just has a gain control volume control so again this would be good for custom designs you know because you could build your own crossover that could block the the um, mid frequencies or the high that could block it so again you know this is just a cheap inexpensive um, amplifier but I'm going to test it out to see how it sounds and again you know this is good for uh, custom designs you know you want to build your own subwoofer you want something that's really small simple to build you know nothing sophisticated or nothing serious just something small to build this you know this would be ideal and if you want to build your own crossover to block out any um, highs or any response that is higher than a subwoofer normally would have you know um, this is what you would need to get so that's about it on this I just wanted to compare show you the difference between a, a real full-size amplifier and something like this you know small tripath amplifier okay so that's about it thank you